sign for Ohio's economy. A record 14,000 businesses applied to open up shop last month. This boom includes a Northeast Ohio bar that's hoping to win your dollar while pouring money into the local economy. Amanda Van Allen shows us a local trend that attracted that business to Cleveland. It lights up green. That means I'm on and I'm going to open the tap all the way. It's all the rage in the heart of downtown. You know, Cleveland doesn't have anything like this. That's cool. It's called Whistle and Keg. It's a craft beer bar with a twist. Folks get wristbands when they walk in and use it to pour their own beer. You know, when you come in here, you don't have to worry about, oh man, this beer I want is going to be $12. You control your experience. So you can pour as little as much as you want. Whistle and Keg just landed in downtown Cleveland in March. It's their second location after Youngstown. Chief Operations Officer Christopher Stanley says Cleveland was an easy choice. Just the business atmosphere in Ohio, it, it's going great. And this area, Cleveland, is in a revitalization right now. There's just more and more hotels, apartments, condos being built all around us. City life really is coming back in vogue, and that's also part of the reason that attracted us to Cleveland. Whistle and Keg is just one of many businesses popping up here in Northeast Ohio. And March was actually the best month historically for new business filings. It was about 13,700 uh, new entities filing to do business here. That's Larry Aboff. He's the president of the Ohio Senate. He says most of the filings were for small businesses. Small businesses are the backbone of Ohio's economy. Um, obviously, we like large businesses, large employers as well. Uh, but, uh, but, but small businesses, local uh, entrepreneurs who employ 10 or 12 or 20 people, um, those are the majority of employers in Ohio. And he thinks there are lots of reasons people are deciding to set up shop in our state. So we've had across the board income tax cuts. We, uh, we eliminated the death tax. Uh, we had uh, targeted tax cuts that benefit small businesses. Stanley says, of course, those were some of the factors on why they decided to expand here, but it's also about the intangibles. You know, you can just feel the energy and the buzz that's happening in Cleveland right now, and, and honestly, it's just amazing to be a part of that. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.